Hello, dental professionals. Happy Sunday. Um, I just wanted to introduce myself and I'm going to give you guys a quick pronunciation tip today. Um, my name is Nikki. I am a dental hygienist and um, I graduated in 2007. So about almost nine years under my belt. And I've mainly worked for clinics that um, the main population of the clinic are Hispanic. And obviously I'm a Spanish uh, speaker. I'm fluent in Spanish and it's a great passion of mine uh, to share that knowledge with you other dental professionals so that you can offer a better quality of care to your patients. Um, I'm a big proponent of education and trying to communicate um, on any level with um, your patients. So today I'm going to give you a pronunciation. Um, oh, one more thing quickly. Um, I shared this pronunciation tip yesterday in a course. We are beginning to offer continuing education courses, um, Spanish for the dental professional. If you're interested in taking something like this, please share this video um, on your page. If you think other, um, other of your colleagues might be interested in taking this course. Um, we're just getting started trying to start a, a little business this way. And hopefully right now they're only available in Indiana, um, which is where we are uh, um, licensed to give continuing education. But hopefully soon we'll be able to do webinars online and offer them um, accredited courses all across the country and maybe across the world. Um, anyhow, so um, the pronunciation tip for today is the letter R. So in English, we have the R's way back in our throat, um, at the at the very back of our mouths when we say a, a word like daughter or car um, or heart. Um, that's if you feel how you're, you're saying the R all the way back in your throat. Well, in Spanish, that doesn't exist. The R is always on the tip of your tongue, whether you're rolling the R, if it's a double R or... Um, if you're, if it's just a single R in the middle of a word and it's not rolled, it's still at the tip of your tongue. So let me give you an example. Um, the word for face is cara. If you, the letter is, um, the word is spelled C-A-R-A. Um, I'm making a video, so escabatate, por favor. Okay. Um, <laughs> that wasn't Spanish or English. Anyway, um, the word for Face is cara, C-A-R-A. So if you see that word written, it's cara for most English speakers, right? Well, that is may, might be hard to understand for a Spanish speaker because that's not how that we pronounce our R's. Um, you put the R at the tip of your tongue. So my tip is, if you can't quite say it just by ear, cara, cara, um, turn it into a D. Think of it as a D. So if you say cara, you're, you're pronouncing it the right way. Now, not a hardy, cada, not like that, but a softy, cada. And now you've pronounced it the right way instead of cara. Or um, another example would be the word for car, which is carro. Now, if you can't roll your R's, that's something you can learn, by the way. Don't say you can't do it. You can learn it. It might take some time, but... Um, just think of it more at the tip of your tongue. Carro, carro, car. I can't even say it without the roll. Carro, carro, carro. That sounds better than caro. All right, tip of the day. I hope you guys have a great weekend and a great rest of your week.